Hey guys, Rob from Produce Deck here, and I'm going to show you a few of the cool things you can do with Plugin Boutique's brand new synth, Virtual CZ, which I've had a lot of fun working with. As Rob from Dodge and Fusky showed in his movie, it's a great synth for making quality retro sounds in not much time at all. What I'm hoping to do in this movie is go into the synth's envelopes a bit more, which I've used to create 10 rich evolving presets that I'm giving away for free, some of which are making the sounds in this drum and bass break. So first up, and most importantly, you've got the filthy bass squelching away here. This is actually two CZs playing almost identical presets, one of which has a longer sweep. Then there's the same sound but with a faster sweep. And both of these work really well on their own too. But here, I'm alternating them to make a more complex sequence. And these are straight out of the synth, with no additional processing from live. Then there's this rhythmic wobbly pad sound, which is creating some nice upper textures and extra movement. So as well as being able to make really huge analog sounding basses, with a particularly good bottom end and lots of harmonics and warmth, CZ can also make interesting complex multi-layered sounds, which is what I'm going to break down for you here. I've got CZ playing an initialized patch here, and as you've probably seen in other movies already, there are two lines, meaning pods for modulating the pitch, the digitally controlled wave shaping or phase distortion, which is basically like a filter section, and then the amplitude or volume control at the end. And each of these pods has two oscillator engines on it, which can have one of eight different waveforms selectable by clicking on one of the buttons here. If you want them to be the same, you just click in the middle. So at the moment, we've got two of this double sine waveform, as it's a nice rich one. And it's just sustaining when I play a note. All of these envelopes can be switched to ADSR, by the way, for simpler programming. So if you want to create a simple filter envelope now, then that's easy to do. So the first three ADSR faders set what happens to the phase distortion when you press and hold a note. And the release sets what happens when you let go. So if I set both the DCW and amp envelopes to the same, with each fader set to a second or two, then we get the same curve for the level and frequencies, which rises, then falls, then sticks at a medium level, then fades out when I let go. Switching the envelopes to multi-segment, however, allows you to have up to eight stages for envelopes, where you now have the level of a stage set with the fader and the rate set below. Note that the rate dials work in reverse, so turning them up makes them quicker. The option in the corner then sets how many of the stages happen whilst you hold down a note. So if I set it to all seven, then I can create some interesting patterns. Then what I can do is activate the looping facility, which makes it cycle. So you can probably see how this allows you to create your own totally unique envelopes, which can be as long as you like. You do need to set them by ear, or work out timings according to your project BPM, but with the rate dials going up to well over a minute each, you can create much longer envelopes than on most synths as well as using the loop feature to do rapid ones as well. So I've applied these techniques to creating the free presets I've made. Here's an interesting one. It's a double layered FX sound synced to a drum and bass tempo. Here, lines one and two are doing different things. Line two is a higher frequency FX type sound, which has its pitch sliding around and slowing right down at the end to create a percussion-like sound. Then line one is creating a lower pitched version of this, a bit like a sub bass line, where you can turn up the depth to add some low mids.
that gives you quite a lot to play with in just one preset. And there are a few other rhythmic presets in the download, like this bass, which has a multi-stage DCW envelope, with the stage's rates set up for a one-bar house loop. Then you can play around with the envelope settings to make your own cool patterns. Copy the envelope to line 2 and change the level and frequency amounts there if you like as well. There are also some simpler patches like this nice tremolo pad. Loading up presets is done using the file menu, and then browsing to the VST preset files on your computer. There's a nice mix of sounds in there, from this record scratching type noise, to more versatile sounds, like this simple evolving pad. And once again, that sexy bass sound from the start, which I'm particularly happy with. I hope you enjoy the patches and see just how flexible and great sounding a synth this is. For more info, check out all the plugin details at pluginboutique.com.